intro music, conspiracies, oh, yeah. fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is the Venusian Musings Podcast, where we offer hedonistic advice about living your life the good way. The good and pleasurable way. A mm-hmm. wink wink. <laughs> We're your hosts, your friendly neighborhood witch bitch day, sweet daughter of the moon and stars, Pika, and I'm Ari, your favorite child of the universe, and we are the Darlings mm-hmm. of Venus. Before we dive into this week's episode, I'll go ahead and talk about the current astro weather for this week. Really? <laughs> yes, let's do. Da- oh. <laughs> oh, it was a broom broom in the back. <laughs> that was a for you. I was like, yes, Pika, we have to know about what's going on this week. <laughs> I'm like, judging already, damn. <laughs> no, I was judging the broom broom man. <laughs> If you if you follow astrology, you'll know that right now an ongoing transit transit that we've been dealing with has been uh, Mars squaring Saturn. It's been going on for a while. <laughs> very very difficult. It's been making this transit since the beginning of August. I want to say yeah. um, it went exact on August twenty fourth, and will be exact again on the 29th of September, which is going to be in a couple days. So. Um, uh, Mars squaring Saturn transit. It's been a very difficult transit right now. Mars is in Aries and Saturn yeah, has it's been. It's been fun. Mm-hmm, it's been fun. Especially for you. It's so fun. <laughs> Saturn's been transiting Capricorn. So everyone who is in their 30s right now has been also dealing with their Saturn's return. It's been the shit show of a year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not just for the world, but for everyone in their 30s. Mm-hmm. Yay, millennials. Okay. But, anyways. Um, so that's what's been going on. And not only that, but Mars also has been retrograde for most of the month now. Yeah. So uh, with these this squaring effect and Mars actually being in retrograde, it's been giving us delays in motivation and production. We've been feeling a bit of a pushback and some frustrations with things that we've been wanting to work on. Um, <laughs> as usual with retrograde, sometimes some things have some themes have been popping back up. You know, maybe some past lovers. I don't know. People hanging up with my DMs I haven't talked to in years. <laughs> Why? You know, all sorts <laughs> of shit. Apparently, you've been in a relationship she didn't even know about. Apparently. <laughs> people like letting me know that they have crushes on me that I was ignoring. Whatever. That's some <laughs> shit. Yeah. Thanks, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> So especially if you're Mars ruled or if Mars is your perfected ruler this year, you're definitely going to get affected by it. I know the three of us definitely have a really strong Mars energy. Pika, Mars is in the house. yes, Pika's There's a Scorpio rising, so house. she's ruled. She's ruled by <laughs> Mars. Um, Day is an Aries sun, and yeah. I have a Scorpio moon, so we're all pretty much affected by Mars. And on top of that, Mars is actually my perfected ruler this year, as well. He rules over my. Uh, um, my seventh house if you are 30 right now uh your seventh house ruler is your lord of the year your perfected lord of the year so oh. day for you yeah. you have a sag descendant so that means jupiter is your perfected ruler uh pika coming out of the word work <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. astrology never lies uh, never <laughs> lies it never does pika for you since you're a scorpio rising that means taurus is ruler of venus venus is perfected ruler this year which makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense she got married this year um, and she also yeah. came into a lot of money over the you know over the summer so um thanks unemployment <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, i mean that, i guess that's the only thing that's been really helping us get through things this, uh, this honestly, year yeah <laughs> Um, even just today, there's been delays in recording our trailer episode. We recorded it actually earlier in the week, but, um, it didn't capture everything. Like we had some messed up parts of the recording, so we had to re-record it. Um, but however, let's just get into the week. Um, there's really nothing too crazy going on with the exception of the, the transit of Mars and Saturn being squared. Um, we just recently stepped into Libra season, so the sun recently stepped into Libra last week. Today, Mercury moved into Scorpio, so that's going to be fun. 
conversation so are going to be very intense um we're going to be preparing not. for another retrograde mercury will be retrograde later and um so it, it'll be now. upcoming yeah. so that's another topic we'll be dealing with right now for this upcoming week we only have um we do have some help from venus that will kind of ease up the tension um so venus and mars will briefly trine for a little bit so that will definitely help things will lighten up a little bit this week but um you know it's just preparing us for what's going down for over the next month (laughs) okay so that was our astro weather for the week um now with an intro to our topic what inspired our podcast actually uh conspiracies during the time of covid so one thing i've noticed over the months while we've been all been in lockdown is all the crazy news and conspiracies that have popped up. There's been shit popping off all summer. All over the place. All over the place. place. Crazy stuff has been going down. So, Pika, Day, what have you guys um, come into? I would like to start off with, like, this conspiracy theory isn't really, like, something that I... that I I discovered it during COVID, but I... Apparently, it's been going on for a while. I mean, we've all dealt with past lives. Like, yeah, creepy stuff. Like... And that's depending on how you feel about it. But I feel like a lot of the stuff that I came across of were kind of like, you know... So past lives is an interesting topic because uh, reincarnation is an, an old concept for most cultures. of in Buddhism and it's in Hinduism and it's in all the isms. <laughs> um, but it's an interesting topic mainly because a lot of children have been experiencing it. Like even like going as far as like going to see therapists. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it ranges, the age really ranges from, like, three to six, where they have kids, like, remembering stuff that they really shouldn't be remembering from, from past lives, like, mm-hmm. dates and times, places, languages even, like, even, like, you know, people's names, like, or, like, you know, just things they shouldn't know. Um, there's one incident, though, I want to talk about that's really interesting, and it's this kid that was born... And um, this town called Golan, which is like near Syria, kind of. Okay. And um, so he's going around talking to his parents about how he remembers getting murdered as a kid or like in his past life. Like he was, he remembered like uh, someone murdering him with an axe. Okay. Which is uh, interesting because the, uh, I'll get back into this, but the birthmark he has, mm. it corresponds with the murder weapon or the where he was supposedly killed. Okay, that's so kind interesting. Yeah, he had a right, red, 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 right birthmark on his head and later found out that that's how the person that he was supposedly died. So his parents take him to this interesting therapist and he has this book and when that came out in like, I think 2006 or so or so. Like, I can't remember exactly when it came out. But the story's from 2009, I think, Mm -hmm. around then. Because I believe the doctor died. Uh, His name was Eli Lachter? I can't really... It's German, I don't know. Um, They go to this doctor, and this kid is having his memories and, like, of his past life or whatever. And so this doctor's very interested in the story, so he's going... He takes the kid and his parents to, like, three different cities, and they find... This one city where the kid remembers it immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, he's never been there before. His parents have never took him anywhere outside of that, uh, out of the side of their little town. Because he's a kid kid. Yeah, he's like a little baby. <laughs> he's a little, little munchkin. No, and so, <laughs> um, so the guy that he is remembering that he was actually died, went missing four years ago. So this kid is three. The guy went missing four years ago. Already suspicious, right? That is suspicious. <laughs> Super suspicious. Um, so as soon as he gets to the town, the kid is already recollecting a bunch of stuff that happened that he wasn't remembering before. Like immediately, it was like the, all the memories came back and like rushed him as soon as he stepped into this town. And one of the uh, the townspeople supposedly heard this kid talking. He was like, "Hey, I know what you're talking about." So they take him to this house, and he's like, "Yeah, I remember this house." And then. He, he sees this other guy walking past the house or whatever, and he says, hey, whatever the guy's name is, he calls out the guy's name. 
and doesn't even know like he <laughs> just calls out the guy's name That's and the guy crazy. stopped he's like yeah he's like knew who he was mm -hmm. and obviously i'd never met him before mm -hmm. and what really stopped the guy is like hey you killed me uh, right? Oh, the kids okay. just recognize him right off the bat. Like right that. off the bat. Right off the bat. And that's okay. what he said to him. He's like, well, I mean, if kill someone killed you, you would be like, hey, I know who that motherfucker is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got your number. Bitch, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> so he even says, like, hey, we got in an argument when you were my neighbor and you killed me with an axe. The guy supposedly had turned stark white. And of course, I mean, it's hard to believe something like that, but then. Like the guy's response was what was the trigger? Like, oh, there's something wrong. Uh -huh. yeah. So the kid even takes him where he was supposedly buried. Uh -huh. That well, his past life body was buried, and they dug it up. And he's like, "You're gonna find this. You're gonna find my body and the murder weapon with me." Look at chills. Ah! It's freaky. It's so freaky. And supposedly this is well known. Like I didn't know about it until recently. Uh -huh. But they dig up the body. Lo and behold, axe, dead body. Even the birthmark I mentioned earlier, like where the kid, that kid has a birthmark on his head, uh -huh. the axe wound is right there on the That's dead body. That's crazy. Yeah. And the guy, the neighbor guy, he admitted it. He's like, yeah, we got in a fight about this and that. What? And I killed you. What? Yeah. He's arrested now, right? Uh, okay, so the <laughs> thing is, is like, this is why it's a conspiracy theory. Uh -huh. So the doctor, he made that book, mm -hmm. and there, no, there's no way to confirm it. Like, so... He died. He published this book about uh -huh. like other other stories that are in this book about children dealing with their past lives. Uh huh. And they can't confirm it because the only known information is what I just gave. And there's not even like they, the parents didn't even want to give out the kid's name, so it's hard to confirm it. But it's so well known that it's like almost like an urban legend kind of. Oh. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, I have a few other past life stories, but that's like my. my absolute favorite one because it's like murder and tree of course uh. like i that was the most it is the most crazy one i found definitely I okay I definitely love I love past life theories and it's definitely something I want to cover like in future episodes yeah, and I've done past life regression it's been yeah, intense that's it's 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 a really like deep subject that's definitely something I want to talk in to talk about uh, go into because especially in spirituality and like if you believe in past lives depending on what your beliefs are like reincarnation and um um, having different souls, it's um, astrology also covers like yeah. part, like parts of it too. Yes. So so that's definitely something I want to cover right. um, and, in the and, future. In other in other religions, um, you're not supposed to remember your past life, but these kids are remembering them. Mm -hmm. And it's just between I don't know what it is about being a kid and having that spiritual like awakening or like being so sensitive. I remember my mm -hmm. mom always saying that. Um, when I was a kid, I would talk about random stuff that I shouldn't know about. Mm hmm exactly. And it's just like, what is, what is that, that window? You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's like what we were talking about in our trailer episode when we were introducing ourselves, how we have always had this familiarity with, like, the, the with the subjects that we were learning, like, including tarot and astrology, yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. I feel like that has to do with our connection with our past lives. Oh, absolutely. Like, absolutely. definitely. Like, I definitely feel like this is all stuff that i've been knowing i feel like I, actually my past life regression it was in there okay okay into yeah okay. so we'll, we'll, get into that, yeah. yeah we'll cover that in a different episode so i was like i need to know more about that because i don't remember you telling me that but i do but yeah i, I yeah. mean like i i don't like talking about the past life regression because it was mm -hmm. such a weird thing that it's hard to believe it's real but then it's like yeah with yeah. my spiritual background it's like hard not to believe it's real it's right like, exactly it's especially just, the birthmark thing because what my parents always told me that all the birthmarks are pretty much like yeah how you died yeah mm -hmm. that's what i was taught to yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of weird like maybe my birthmark kind of arm is how i got my arm got chopped off yeah. i don't know mm -hmm. like Okay, and you said, all right, you said the conspiracy part of it is that they don't really have evidence about it? Well, they, I mean, like I said, besides the book, uh -huh. and like, besides it being a well known story, uh -huh. other than that, it's an urban legend. Because the doctor, he passed away. Oh. So the book is out there, it's in German, you can mm -hmm. find it. I mean, I'm sure they have translations, but like, it's out there, it's well known. It, that was his 
one of his major fields of profession was in the past lives with children. Okay. So, and because it, it's like, I forgot the number, but it's an astronomical amount of children remembering their past lives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got to protect our children. Yes. <laughs> yes. <definitely>. Or <laughs> listen to your kids listen, when they tell you stuff. Because mm-hmm. they're not crazy. Exactly. <laughs> they're not always. If your kids are speaking a language or writing a language they don't know, then you probably should mm-hmm. go talk to like it's like a therapist and be like hey let's figure this out if your Don't kid ignore says it. that he was murdered you listen to that kid right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. listen the, to your kids the listen children kids. are our future it's always very important just in general to yeah. listen to your yeah. kids always very, listen to your kids very, very, very. so i did with my niece and nephew i was like can i see anything tell me everything oh i do know i do remember <laughs> yeah. from the mm-hmm. see always see always yeah, yeah. let me know <laughs> let me know uh, like yes. children and dogs like mm-hmm. they they will let you know <laughs> especially my niece she said that she has seen her dad i believe that Aww. i was like i believe that too i believe it too which probably is why they, so they made this really sad tiktok video about my dad did they really <laughs> yeah and i'm like why are you gonna hurt me like that <laughs> It was like the slow version of Sammy's Heaven playing. I saw, I watched yeah. that. I watched that TikTok. I'm going like, to have to watch that later. Like, why are you like, like, so emotional? Why are you like baby right now, babies? <laughs> and didn't you feel like, oh, actually speaking of that, didn't you say that you felt like your nephew was a reincarnation of your father? Or something like that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I still believe that. Or yeah. at least parts right. of him. Right. Because his dad was kind of like his father figure. Mm-hmm. A week or two after my dad died, right. and they were born the exact same day. That is insane. Yeah, because my crazy. sister, she was what's the word when they when they induce you. She was induced like the day before, so she was supposed to have it the day before, but he didn't come out until two a.m. exactly. That's crazy. Which <laughs> is when my dad died. Was at 2 a.m. Shut up. Uh, oh yeah. my god, they didn't chill. They didn't know. I forgot about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Shocked. That, that shit is. Yeah. Plot. That shit is crazy. And the funny thing is um, that I've looked into stuff like this happening in, with astrology, and there's nothing that can convince me that it isn't real because of right. timing like that. Because right. that's yeah, essentially exactly. what it is it's timing. That's so all, that's all strategy is is timing, isn't it? And we'll definitely that's all the that's other stuff we'll also cover later in the future in future episodes right. because well, there's also parts of your neo chart that also talks about your past life too. Mm-hmm. And that is a different story. Yeah, right? mm-hmm. yeah. We'll definitely offer that. So when we do a whole full episode about past lives, reincarnation, we'll go, we'll cover all of that. And we'll do our past life charts. That'll be fun. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Janet or Ari has some. Um, Productions of what her past life was. Oh yeah, definitely. That I'm hearing about. <laughs> I do. I do. I have a lot of theories. Oh, I, I have a lot of theories, but definitely. Um, okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing, Day. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Um, okay. I have side conspiracies that are real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like I feel like the reason we decided to cover conspiracies is because. Um, at the beginning of lockdown, I think people, there was like a lot of hype over crazy shit happening because they were like, oh my God, a whole pandemic. What? What are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, even that, the pandemic was also considered a conspiracy theory. Yeah. It's about 5G and how it affects your body and all. So, Mm -hmm. like, I mean, come on. Like, (laughs) that sounds ridiculous. And then some of the towers that people were knocking down Uh weren't even like, Radio towers or Wi-Fi towers, like they're just. I didn't know about this. Yeah. Yes. Another conspiracy <laughs> theory that five G apparently is the reason why we have COVID nineteen. Okay, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about these conspiracies people are coming up with. Yeah, they're just yeah. coming up with it out of nowhere because apparently, five G. I don't know that it's so convoluted. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Supposedly, five G affects your body and the wavelengths, and that's why they're keeping us inside so they can put up these five G towers. And it makes you sick, yada yada yada. And so people are going out. If you're if you're going out and it affects your body, then why are you going outside and destroying these towers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. People are so stupid. Even five G towers are literally all around us, even if we're not aware about it. So literally, even if you're inside, the air comes in and you right. Can... Like how that do you makes no sense? How do you think we're like getting stuff done, like to our phones and our computers and right. stuff, yeah. like right. Bye. The freaking fre- <laughs> the frequencies. <laughs> That's how we're getting COVID. Right? Yeah. yeah, apparently they were 
they're yeah, like I said, they're knocking down towers that weren't even Wi Fi towers. They're just knocking down towers because they watched a YouTube video and it spooked them out and they're not getting the right information. People are freaking Always out. Back. Yeah. Always, Always back. Always back. Always back. Especially during <laughs> this time. And so, the sad thing is, is it's so easy for our information to be mm-hmm. readily available. Mm-hmm. We're just choosing mm-hmm. to ignore facts. Exactly. That's that's how I feel about people in general. I feel like in this day and age, like you said, information is readily available. It's right there at your fingertips. Like even if you don't have the privilege of having a computer or a fucking smartphone, you can still have access to the information. Yeah. It's there for you. So if you're choosing not to if basically, if you're choosing to be ignorant, that's by choice. Like, it's it not, there's no way that you cannot be educated about certain things. No. There's this lovely place. It's filled with a whole bunch of books. It's called a library. <laughs> they have yeah. books there. You can also use their internet mm-hmm. for free. It's for all free. free. Yeah. They also have old newspapers there. Wow. Life-changing. Life-changing, guys. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely go hit up your local library. And be safe, of course. Be safe yeah, about yeah. it. Wear your mask. COVID is actually real. It's not like a democratic ploy. <laughs> oh my god, that one. I don't even understand that one. Like, how is that one a thing? Yeah. Because China. <laughs> oh god. Because China did it to get rid of America, apparently. Okay. But apparently, it didn't even start in China. Apparently, COVID started in Russia. So this is another conspiracy. This is another conspiracy. Okay, so this what is, is a COVID one? conspiracy. That was it. Oh, that was it? <laughs> yeah. I remember watching, an, 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 it was an outdoor broadcast on the local news, or not local news, just the nationwide news. They were like, is Chinese food safe to eat? Oh that my was, God. Yeah, no, Seriously? Was, those those things, support those your things. Asian small businesses because they are suffering. Yeah, They are suffering. And I, that one breaks my heart. Like anything to do with like, obviously anything to do with and breaks my heart. But like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like look, don't segregate a whole culture because you're scared mm-hmm. of some virus. Like that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> like I went to San Fran before we were all looked down. Prior that. to us going there, there was like a huge news report of like this group of people of this poor Chinese man who was just picking up cans and they beat the shit out of him. <gasps> mm-hmm. Oh my god! Because he was picking up cans and he's Chinese. I hate that shit. But when we were there, people were ready to be like. Chinatown was like pretty much a dead. Nobody was going into the restaurants. So this sad. is before the lockdown. And this is how ignorant people are, especially especially Americans. This is especially this is Americans. this is how ignorant people are. Like, like they okay. were graffiti, like the Mulan posters, and they were calling it Wuhan. And I'm like, oh. yeah. It's just, okay, when you hear people being racist to Chinese people or Asians in general, yeah. because people are fucking racist, it's just the same kind of stupidity as people not buying Corona beer because they think it will give them Corona. <laughs> I forgot that was a story. That, yeah, was, yeah, a that, that was a thing. That was a thing. And Corona, and corona yeah. stock went plummeted at the beginning of uh, the quarantine. I was like... It's a beer. It's a fucking mm. beer. It doesn't have corona. That's just the name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I have to explain that to people. The other one is the other one is the funniest one to me is that people will pull out these wipes, the tiny wipes, mm-hmm. and they'll say, uh, uh, well, clean coronavirus. And they're like, oh, this bottle is from 2018. They knew about it. Yada, yada, yada. But okay, the face that Ari is... What? <laughs> yeah. I told him this. I don't think I told you. Okay, explain this to me. Okay, I'm going to explain to you because animals have a coronavirus. Hello. Uh That's where it's coming from. Uh It's not human coronavirus. Mm -hmm. It's it's a different kind of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. The coronavirus that we share, the the name, it's just the name. Mm -hmm. The coronavirus, quote unquote, is is a SARS virus. Uh And people don't know that. (laughs) And so they read that on the bottle, they're like, they knew. It's a conspiracy. (laughs) They've been planning this shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They haven't. I mean, or people who are like, it's called COVID-19. So then there's other different, like, numbers of COVID. I was like, no, it's called COVID-19 because I was discovered in 2019. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Sorry, that one's funny. <laughs> oh, did you not know about that? Oh, I didn't know about that. I heard some. There's so many. There's so oh, many my God. 
Oh my goodness. Let's talk about... Let's talk about the crazy shit people have been wrapping their heads around during this time because while we've all been in lockdown, it's okay to go a little bit, you know, to get a little bit antsy because you've been stuck inside, but it's not okay to be coming up with this crazy shit. I mean, I guess if this is what you want to do with your time, just don't harm others. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, my, that's my biggest thing. Like, people still believe in Pizzagate, which is... Oh. was so harming. I yeah. Mean, it's not real, by it, the way, it's, guys. it's not real, yeah. guys. Yes. Like, I, and the thing is about that is that it was started in, like, what, 2016 during the first election with our now president. Um, it's so weird to hear four <laughs> years later. But, like, it was apparently because they were using code, supposedly in emails. But it wasn't code. They were like, oh, let's have a pizza party and all this other stuff. Yeah, and it was... <sighs> So people got, th- th- this got out, and of course, crazy people online, because that's what people do, mm-hmm. they, of course, then took the law into their own hands and go attack this family, this family-owned restaurant. And <laughs> I, w- I recently watched a video about this, because I knew about it, but I didn't know the details about it. Mm-hmm. The guy who came with, was coming in there with a gun, attacking this family. Fucking vigilantes. And I think it was, uh, yeah. I think it was, like, multiple people, like, gave them, like, death threats. They would threaten to, like, burn their yeah, business, business down. down. Yeah. And um, it was a, a family in Washington, D.C., an Asian family owned this pizza restaurant. Of course it's an Asian family. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so, oh, God. It's so but easily it was targeted. One, it was one um, white American um, that went to take the law into his own hands, he thought, because he's being Captain America, he's trying to save some kids. Mm-hmm. Um, but, of course, he came to the restaurant and found no kids there, mm-hmm. no basement, no pizza party, quote-unquote, being had. And, oh, the cops show up and arrest this dude because he's attacking this family. I mean, That's sad. It, I mean, this family lost money because of this whole... I don't even know how they... This- Trace it back to this one pizza restaurant. Okay, so let's let's talk about that for our listeners who are not familiar with Pizzagate. So there was a whole conspiracy about it um, involving, I believe it was like uh, top celebrities. It's you know your yeah. whole, your mm-hmm. usual the conspiracy. Elites. The yeah. elites, yeah. they have all this power and money, and they have some sort of secret, you know, society, mm-hmm. Illuminati. <laughs> yes, so and people were yeah. linking it with sim- like the symbolism with pizzas for some fucking reason. Cause of the triangles, you know? Yeah, because of the triangle. <laughs> um, how did it's they get circle. linked to the restaurant? Do you know? I, I, I think he just walked, walked in. Up they in. literally walked into the restaurant. Guns blazing. Right. Guns blazing, girl. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. yeah. You know how. You know, just picked a random pizza restaurant? I don't even know how they. The thing is, I don't remember how they picked that restaurant. I think I, it's because, like, the emails strictly were from, like, this restaurant or something like that. That's... What? Pika's looking into it more. Yeah. But, like... Because I just recently read about it, and then I forgot literally everything, because short-term memory when you're old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just remember that he got guns a blazing, and because of these emails that were supposedly code for something... Okay, look, listen... The thing is, is it that, all started with the Clintons. <laughs> the Clintons. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, is that <laughs> if there's anything going on, do you think you, your smartphone, and your YouTube video is going to figure out exactly what's going on? Speaking and, of, <laughs> and, 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 I just don't. I just don't think that you would know that. I, if, if they have a way to hide it, they have a way to hide it. Yeah. Because obviously there's sex trapping your rings happening, but like yeah, it, we don't deny that. No, I'm not denying that at all. Mm-hmm. Obviously, but I'm just I'm just saying that you're not going to be able to figure out who these people are actually involved. Mm-hmm. There's no way. Like if they have the money and power to be running this kind of shit, I'm pretty sure they're doing a pretty good job at covering the shit up or using a different kind of cover. You yeah. know, yeah. Like, just leave that to the people who are working these cases. Yeah. Don't take the law into your own hands. We're not Batman. And I'm not supporting vigilantism. That is not that is not the way you're supposed to be handling these kind of situations, especially when children are involved or people. Like you're you're probably gonna make the situation harder for them to escape. <laughs> exactly. Like 
just just don't get in the way. Speaking speaking of people taking the law into their own hands, doing their own research, I want to bring up the Wayfair conspiracies because that shit that shit was Can dumb. I jump back into Pizzagate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, this pizzeria was the meeting grounds for a satanic ritual abuse. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. We have to have themes of um, Satanism in there as well. Yeah. It's not and, a conspiracy you know, without it. and human trafficking all, you know, happening in there. I don't think people understand what Satanism is, but that's a different story. And that's a whole yeah. different So topic. then that's why <laughs> that came there with a rifle and sh- started shooting. Oh, he actually started he shooting? Started, actually started shooting. Wow. Did anyone get hurt during that process? Not... So I'm on a Wikipedia thing, so there's like a shit ton of things here, but it doesn't say. I don't think, yeah, I don't think he hurt yeah. anyone. Okay. I remember that video I was watching, I don't think he hurt anyone, mm-hmm. but okay. I remember watching them arrest them. He, you know, the, <laughs> I have a, I have a, the whole thing about cops and everything, but the cops that were arresting him were even laughing about what he was doing. Like that is, yeah. you went from Facebook to shooting up a pizza restaurant, mm-hmm. come on. Like, mm-hmm. if you have a conspiracy theory, keep it yeah. Keep it to yourself. And don't hurt people over it. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. hurt people over it. Definitely. There are ways to go about things, yeah. you know? Like, obviously, yes, we want to make sure people are safe, but don't take it into your own hands. Because you could possibly, you're not just endangering others, you could be endangering yourself. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. So Wayfair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about motherfucking Wayfair because <laughs> this shit was so dumb. I'm sorry, but I it baffled me. It baffled me. I cannot oh, believe I cannot believe people really are thinking that people are kids are being transported in these fucking furniture and being sold on these websites. Come on. I are you kidding me? The the fa- I saw the picture I saw was so photoshopped. It was like, I can do a better job, and I'm really bad at graphic design. Mm-hmm. I can't even draw a stick. <laughs> Come on. Like, <laughs> it's like people will see this and believe anything. Yes, sex trafficking was the thing. And again, I have to say this. If the elite are doing this, there's no way you're going to be able to find out who these people are that are involved. There's no way. And I just, I don't know. So for those of you who aren't aware of what had happened... And these are based off of screenshots, okay? Completely. These are based off of fucking screenshots. But people are taking screenshots, looking up furniture on Wayfair.com. So Wayfair is a furniture uh, website. I've gotten a few uh, things from them. I had you. It's not bad. Like they're not. They're pretty good quality. They're not amazing quality, it's but they're not that not cheap yeah, either. Yeah. They're, you know, they're decent. Um, for the pricing range. And so some of the names of the furniture are names of basically just... They're just basic-ass names. They're names of people, I guess. And that's that's what people took into consideration. What? I know that So, part. Yeah, yeah, the furniture are named... They have regular names of people. But the what really set people off about the furniture is that they there are multiple versions of the furniture being listed. And they're at really outrageous prices. Yeah. Okay. They're being set at an outrageous price. Yes. Give us right. the example. Uh, there was a self storage cabinet. Uh, it was named Samia 5. It was listed for $12,899.99. Okay. So someone on Reddit Googled that name and it was a missing child of a 17 year old missing from Ohio, 2018. So they're like, that's weird that that might be connected because who has a name like that? Probably a million people. Sorry. Yeah, but that, right. that's what they're thinking. So then they go on the huge rant. That's pretty much how they started. However, this was fact checked on July 10, 2020 by this person. Uh, she's not missing anymore. <laughs> she's <Wow>. right here. <laughs> so what it is is that yeah. <laughs> these people and okay and the, there are people that actually thought this not only they thought it was suspicious that the furniture are being named ch- children's names apparently or just like basic names and having these weird ass prices but the other conspiracy to it is that people think that they're actually these children are being sold in the furniture 
They think they're being sold into furniture. Because they're super, like, specific dimensions and weight and stuff. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh. If you buy furniture, it tells you the weight of the stuff. But oh. they're supposed to list the weight of exactly. the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, there's no, there's more. There's more to this. It's not just that. So these people, there's conspiracies where they're looking up, they're Googling up the names, right? Right. But they're using a specific Russian website oh, yeah. to this look up was, the names that lead to... the Russians. Sorry. You yeah. know, like, okay, first of all, where the fuck did you get that source from? Like, why are you choosing such a random thing to be looking up this information? The Russians never miss that. It's on yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. So what? it's like some, it's a web, it's a search yeah. website it's or something. It's called Yandex. Yandex. So like, they're searching up the names on this oh website, yeah. which leads it to what? Pictures of children, right? Or yeah. something like that. Yeah, images of children. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Images and they're of children. Like, oh my god, this is, this is the child that they're transporting and selling through this website. Uh, that is. So that's the Wayfair so, conspiracy. That is so, yeah. so disappointing. However,. Uh, people are not clear what the SRC stands for, which is like the SKU number in Russia, but they do suggest that it might be a modeling agency. Because this is why you need to fact check things. See that yeah. I did not, I did not know about that. Why, yeah. Why don't people fact check? And then those links seem to be the name of the product and the names of the children in the image search of blah blah blah, and that's how they found that. I'm assuming because the SKU cards are SRC USA and then SRC RU. Okay. So they're two different abbreviations, obviously, US yes, Russia. Yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, well. Yeah. Thanks, random article that I screenshotted to give me all this information. <laughs> <laughs> so they got this because. A screenshot that went viral on Reddit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and someone and was like, course, "This is suspicious." Hold on, and this is probably why it got popular because bots. Mm-hmm. Bots are a real thing. Mm-hmm. Bots affect mm-hmm. most of social media. All, actually, all social media, mm-hmm. and and people get paid to mislead people. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. That's something y'all should look into. So, if you ever come across come across conspiracies that you're kind of like, "Oh shit, this might be true." Go ahead and fact check and also keep into consideration that there's a lot of shit out there that's there to kind of lead us to misinformation. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole skew of, like, bots on Twitter. Like, if you find, if you're finding yourself arguing with a Twitter account that has 10 followers and that just got, what, activated in, like, April, it's probably a bot. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, come on, guys. You should be... Even in Reddit, you can find bots on there. Yes. They probably have, like, no pictures, no profile picture, anything like that. And they just... Blah, blah, blah. This is the thing I'm doing. Blah, blah, blah. This is the thing I'm saying. Like, it's probably a bot. Just use your common sense. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, that was a Wayfair conspiracy. Um, Pika? Yes. Tell us your findings. I know you got something good. I know you do. Yeah, staying on the whole sex trafficking thing. (laughs) (laughs) Give us some motherfucking tea. (laughs) Avicii, Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell, Anthony Bourdain. What do they have all in common? Rip. They they all committed suicide. They all committed suicide. Uh, Apparently, there was a conspiracy. Wait, Avicii committed suicide? Yeah. Yeah. When was that? They're all found, like, on the door. Yeah. They're all hung by, like, a doorknob. Where the fuck was I when that happened? I don't remember that. I should know. Like, 2018-ish. I love Anthony Bourdain. He was my... One of my influences in cooking. We'll probably do like a cooking episode too because. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Anthony yeah. Bourdain. Like he's known food. for traveling for food. Chester Bennington was the lead singer of Lincoln Park. Uh, Chris Cornell was also a singer. He was in the band. Audio Slave. Yes, yeah. awesome. And I, I believe he was also Gigi. Soundgarden as well. Yeah, Soundgarden back mm-hmm. in the nineties. Yeah. And but then Chris, Chris and Chester are besties. They were besties. It was so sad. Yeah. It was so sad. Chris and for Chester, I believe. Yeah. Chester yeah. that same year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was around the same. It was very close. Mm-hmm. So I remember mm-hmm. I was at my my first introduction to like being online a lot was I had a Lincoln Park 
fan club page. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> also, uh, can we talk about our weird fan pages that we all made? Because we course. all had fan pages. Yeah, that was yeah. an introduction to be online. Just mm. definitely. That will definitely be in a future episode as well. Yeah, we got so many ideas, you guys. Mm-hmm. Get ready. Girls and boys just say. We got stuff to share. Yeah. We got some tea anyway, to get. Uh, not only did they commit suicide, supposedly they were working on a sex trafficking documentary called The Silent Children. What? what? Okay, I had never heard Remind of that. Remind my supposedly. Uh, that is why. So is it them, like, confessing to stuff they know about it? Or is it them, like, trying to, like, uncover trying something? Trying to expose it. Oh, okay. Was what this documentary was about. Notice my past tense here. So people speculate that they didn't all commit suicide, that they were all murdered. Dun-dun. Dun-dun. But that's strange. Fish. I remember all of them having... Autopsies? Not only autopsies. And their family also said that they found them suicide. And also they had <laughs> really, I mean, like, I love that for a game, but he also had a trouble. He was a drug addict back in the day. Like, these are things that... Especially Chester Benning. Especially yeah. Chester Benning. Chris mm-hmm. Cornell. Like, mm-hmm. these are... Avicii. Like, it's been... Like, yeah. they all had some, like, bouts with mental health issues and... You just gotta check on your family, guys. Check on your friends, check on your Check family. on your friends, check on your family, yes. yes. Mental health really is no joke. On them. Yeah, mm-hmm. even, I mean, we all deal with, especially right now, suicide rate is at its high right now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, with this coronavirus. People cannot be handling shit well right now. Yeah, I have shit's going crazy. Right now, like, mental health is on. It, it just needs to be, you know, it just needs to be checked up on. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So that was. That, that's a conspiracy. However,. Uh, the website I went to, which is called Reuters.com, R-E-U-T-E-R-S.com, that checked this, and they talked to somebody who is working on the Silent Children documentary, so that is a real thing. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, none of them are involved in it. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so if none of them are involved in it, so where did that come from? Where did that theory come from? So, what he was going with, Chester and Chris are good friends. Right. And... One, I believe, is a singer of the Dave Matthew Band, and his fiance were on the names like they were executive producers of this documentary. Oh, and then they stopped and dropped out around 2017 before Chris committed suicide. So they thought it was all connected. Um, what? That right? is such a reach. Yeah. yeah. So random. Because I remember when Chris Cornell first died, I saw this conspiracy that he was part of this documentary. See, I did not know about that. I've never I seen know. anything about yeah, that. Yeah, me either. And especially mm-hmm. the name. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. So they thought because... I've been following this conspiracy since 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just, everybody was like, wait, no. All four of these people are connected with each other. Because they all committed suicide in the same way. Yes. And like, within like, Two, three years apart from each other. Okay, well, hanging is kind of like the number one way to... common way to <laughs> commit suicide. Yeah. Not sadly, to but yeah. Not to make any light of that, but that mm-hmm. is like the number one way to do mm-hmm. it, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Well, that documentary sounds interesting, so that's something we'll probably check out later. Yeah, yeah I'll definitely check that out. It's but, um, still going on. I don't even know because of all those conspiracies. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of sex it. trafficking conspiracies, and right. obviously, yeah, it's a very serious thing. Yeah, like, it's well, definitely it's real. Yeah, yeah, like let's like if you go to the Las Vegas airport, there are signs there. Yeah, right. yeah. we don't we yeah. don't want to have any misinformation about that because so we. Okay. Could be, trafficked. yeah. <laughs> and my aunt actually did work with saving uh, sex traffickers mm-hmm. or sex tra- people that have been sex trafficked mm-hmm. um, with her church back in, about, I think back in 2016, and she did a lot of work with uh, kids that were sex trafficked, and it's it's a real thing that happens in Vegas, especially yeah. here, mm-hmm. all around the world, but yeah, it's yeah, definitely here. Vegas. This is a transient town. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a bunch of random people coming here that go missing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, or there's people who are missing other parts of the world, and apparently they are found here. Transient town. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of those cities. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay. Well, do, 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 do. 
Any more you got, Tika? Because you got a whole notebook in there, girl. Well, this is also my podcast notebook. Oh, cute. Podcast notebook. Uh, Other than that, we have another serious song with a BLM. Uh, yes. <laughs> so there's conspiracy yes. in regards to BLM. Yeah, that there is one. Oh shit. Okay. All right. So um, let's go ahead and cover this then. Uh, to keep it short, conspiracy. the conspiracy is that the BLM website is donating to the Democratic Party, including Bernie Sanders, who's not even running anymore. But they're still claiming that BLM and Bernie Sanders are connected. Well, he did march for the civil rights. Yeah. He's been, like, one of the most active. Yeah, but they're saying all their donations for BLM is going to Bernie. All of it? All of it, apparently. Because they use Act Blue. Act Blue is a charity organization, so they use pretty much the Democratic Party, BLM. They're all under this organization, which is just an organization. They just... Right. Have that name. Yeah. Right. So that makes me angry because when people... <laughs> so when being on this first thing, and that website's been out for years. Years. years yeah. Literally years. And BLM, when it first was introduced to the public eye, it was ignored. Uh-huh. And it was ignored in such a way that it was like, oh, oh, they're just protesting me about, oh, whatever. Then mm-hmm. I... The black people are acting up again. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> they just they just want to, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. They just wild it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then now, because we're dealing with coronavirus and all the stresses of life right yeah. now, people are coming up these dumb conspiracy theories. But mm-hmm. this organization has been around for now for over four years. Yeah. And people are now just taking, recon, rec, recognizing it as a thing and then coming up with this unfortunate conspiracy theory. And it's an election year, so people are yeah, like, okay. Course. How do we make the Dems like bad so we can keep Trump for four more years? Yeah, and the, the thing is, it's not a political. Civil rights is not political. And so people that make it it, make it that way make, makes me really mad. Mm-hmm. And They just want the same rights as everybody else. They exactly. want to stop being treated like slaves. That's it. Yeah. I mean, everyone, and BLM isn't just for black people. It's for everybody. And people are like, why can't you say all lives matter? It's not, Yes. No one's saying that all lives don't matter, but, like, that's not the point. <laughs> but, anyway. Don't worry, we'll have a lot. We'll be covering this, this a lot. So, this makes me so angry. Like, it oh, just... Oh, let's get you more angry. Oh, get me more angry, Pika. George Floyd was an actor, apparently, is oh, what some this. people think. I heard about that. Uh-huh. That's just such an eye roll. And that the Dems set him up for this. That way we can riot and protest before the election. Okay, so the conspiracy is that BL- BLM becoming a, becoming a big thing again this year is just all an act. It's just a political it's all act. Because of the Democrats. Okay, and they're making they're saying George Floyd is the face of it. Ooh, mm-hmm. oh man, mm-hmm. yeah. that is that's some disrespectful shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, straight up, I can't even like. We literally all saw a man die on a YouTube video. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like I, like I already said, that that that's some motherfucking disrespectful shit. Y'all yeah. are trivializing it. You are trivializing it. Republicans are milking up for everyone they can. When I see a billboard that says, "Most cities that have riots are run by Democrats." That's not true. That's a billboard that's in Las Vegas right now. What? What? Where? It's on the two fifteen. Oh, actually, no, it's on the 15th, yeah. Trash that billboard, you guys. Yeah. Trash that billboard. Yeah, it's right before the Blue Diamond the, the vigilantism. But, we don't support know. vigilantism, but by the way, there's this billboard <laughs> near the 215. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 15, not the 215. Oh, oh the oh. connection from the 215 to 15, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. it's on the 15. You'll see it. It's, <laughs> a, it's <laughs> big. I'm just yeah. mad every time I pass by it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, um... Making this a political thing is the most disrespectful thing. And people can quote MLK and that it's funny because the Republicans love um, quoting Malcolm X. Okay, the thing is that Malcolm X at the time, 
even even later on in his life, right before he died, he denounced what he was saying about liberalism. He denounced it, and people don't want to talk about that part. People don't know about. It. It's funny when non non black people want to call Malcolm X, and they want to use the whole his views on liberals as a political statement. He wasn't saying it for what you think he was saying it for. And he definitely denounced it before he died, but no one wants to talk about that. Controversy up right. They don't want to talk about that. They don't ever want to bring that up. And when people bring up MLK, it's only for... The, the people only want to bring up these two figures to push their own views because it's trivial. Mm-hmm. You're trivializing it. It's not about what your views are. Mm-hmm. It's never about some of your individual view. It's not about your individual political view. It's not about you. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Sorry about you. Exactly. She's so angry when people do that kind of thing with the ML. Or just civil rights in general. Mm-hmm. It's not about you, Nancy. Sit down. Okay? <laughs> it's not about us this time. <laughs> Take how a seat. You, how about you sit down and listen? <laughs> That, that's all I want you to do. That's all we all, that's all minorities want you to do is just sit down and listen. Mm-hmm. Stop calling us racist names, maybe, you know? Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. just pay me some respect. Don't give me a cross lip when you see me walking down the street with mm-hmm. only as my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe don't step out on an elevator when I'm coming in it. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We'll talk about race. Yeah. yeah. We'll talk about the many, 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 many microaggressions that we've dealt with our entire lives. And so I'm not so micro. <laughs> <laughs> some of them are big. Yeah. Some of them are actually just full-on aggressions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, okay. So, yeah, those are some very interesting conspiracies during this time. I'm telling you, I feel like people just, they have nothing to do. They're bored out of their minds in their houses. So they're just coming up with some crazy-ass shit. Yeah. They post on Facebook and not actually read the article. They just read the headline and they're like, this is right. Or I'm going to hack the article. Yeah. I'm going to start some shit today. I'm like, listen, okay, I'm already dealing with enough mental health issues. I don't need you to come at me, messaging me, trying to threaten me with your... Your nonsense that you're not even mm-hmm. trying to look at. Don't say that Thanos <laughs> oh, predicted like, all this. <laughs> <laughs> Who predicted all this? Thanos. 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 Oh. His speech. Oh, so what he was doing was right, apparently. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> but also, he wasn't technically <laughs> wrong. <laughs> But also, but also that storyline has been around since the eighties. That's not something they predicted with the MCU. Stanley uh-huh. read it, and he. Yeah, come on, guys. Come yeah. On. <laughs> Make better choices. Get, Get better, better idols. idols. Get better idols. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Bailey Sarian. Uh, we have her yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so those are some interesting conspiracies. Um, I honestly I haven't heard of anything else that people have come up with. It's basically just been the same shit being recycled, you know. Oh, yeah. Huh? The Naya stuff. The I'm sorry? Naya Rivera. Oh, Naya yeah. Rivera. Well, I haven't looked too much into it because, of course, we had another death, Naya Rivera. Um, the cons- rest the yes. yes, rest in peace. Sweet the conspiracy angel. with her was it's the same thing. Every time someone dies, people don't believe it's an actual death. They think they think it was you know some crazy shit that was planned out. You know, right? So yeah. people thought that she, they thought that she got murdered. They thought that she she did drown, but that someone did it. That was the conspiracy with that. Oh, that's silly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so unfortunate for her son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, sweet. And just be like finding your mom like that or just witnessing that. It's so sad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that. It, again, like I said, it's just the same kind of stuff recycled over and over. There's always some shit going down with the sex trafficking ring. That seems to be a very, like, obviously it's a very important topic. But there's just a lot of, how do you say, what, what do you say, like, there's a lot of information out there that's kind of, like you mentioned earlier, it's convoluted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's misinformation. And that's, a, that's the thing, guys. They want to put you in the wrong direction. <laughs> Stay mm-hmm. focused. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
stay focused on the shit that's happening, the yeah. real shit that's going on. Like, there definitely are sex shop trainings, and the police have raided some. Yeah, but, and like I said, my aunt worked yeah. with helping sex, so people have been sex trafficked. Mm-hmm. It's a thing that's happening. It is. But, like, let's do some positive work. Let's, yes. Let's look into ways that you can help these people come back into a normal society and, like, yeah. You know, not just can, put in a hashtag on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can, there's a thing, these are websites that you can go to that help these people. Mm-hmm. And especially right now, if you're in COVID, like, I'm sure, you know, they're, they're, these people don't have places to go. They don't have families. They don't have food. They Or they can't get to the place they need to. Mm-hmm. Look at ways that you can help these people instead of come with these theories that can hurt people's families. Exactly. Like, you need, I mean, come on, guys. Like you said, get better idols mm-hmm. you, you, there's a things that you can do instead of putting a hashtag or just posting an article on facebook and not having real facts yes be proactive yes. instead of being instead of dividing mm-hmm. let's work together we're all in this together mm-hmm. exactly <laughs> that was really well said day very well said thank you for that so i think i feel like we've covered a lot of topics um so what we can do now is we'll go ahead and oh actually let's uh talk about let's talk a little bit about what our next episode will be and then we can go ahead and end our close out our episode with t- day's terror reading of the week <laughs> so yeah before we get into that um so our next episode is going to be about randonautica day do you wanna yeah um so i discovered randonautica when i was actually looking up information about this episode conspiracy mm-hmm. theories and it was interesting because I found, let me just preface, um, they, the interesting thing about this app is that is you're supposed to get information like, oh, I want to look in, it's like basically an, like a, an attention app. So you're supposed to put in like what you're trying to look for. Like some people put money, mm-hmm. some people put like, you know, I want to find a puppy or something. But the things that other people are finding are a little bit more strange than that people yes. i mean there was one incident which is a real thing we're not gonna get into it too much but there's been some cases that involve some murders uh, <laughs> just some spooky shit. Some, there's, there's no light no, way to say that <laughs> there's no, there's no, yeah i can't say yeah. it lightly straight up a murder was involved with brown and like a lot of people have been finding a little strange things so yeah we're gonna get into our next episode I'm super excited. Um, so our next episode will be about rad- the Random Nautica app, our experience with it, other people's experiences with it, and basically just the topic of manifestation in general. Yeah. I and mean, that's all the app is, is manifestation. Perfect. All right, Jay. So, <laughs> so we're closing every, every week we're going to be closing out an episode, um, and I'll be pulling a card to spiritually guide us through the week. And, um, See what the spirits have in store, store for us. So, I'm going to shuffle. See what we get. Shuffling noises, shuffling noises. <laughs> <laughs> and the card I picked, I pulled just now was the Nine of Swords. Now, mm. and this is in reverse. <laughs> so oh, just, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, this card, this card, either way, reversed or not, is not really a great card. And I'll explain it. So, upright... The, I mean, like, I'll give you the clips note version of the upright <laughs> and the reverse version of this card, but it's, yeah. either way, it's bad. I never want to have this card in yeah, my hand. <laughs> even just in the picture of this card, it's like, I'm going to show the girls, like... Oh, my God, yeah. yeah like, I'll explain it. it. It is literally... I'm assuming it's the fates, and they have snake hair, like a gorgon. There's three of them, and they're all carrying swords, and there's this woman looking at the sky in turmoil and... Just, uh, it's not a great depiction of the card. I've never seen a card more terrible than this card. <laughs> I, I don't care what anyone says. The tower, tower eat your heart out. <laughs> <This card> <laughs> so upright, this card usually means anxiety, fear, worry, depression, nightmares. Mm-hmm. I call it the nightmare card in my it readings. It is literally the nightmare card. Even reverse, it's inner turmoil, deep-seated fears, secrets, and worries. Oh, shit. So, like, <laughs> like I said, this... In the description of the card, there's a woman sitting up. Well, there's a woman looking up at the sky, and she looks like she's in a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so <sighs> hopefully you guys are dealing with uh, the week better than 
this card is depicting the work the, the week will be like mm -hmm. let's release those fears let's release those worries and hopefully we'll have a better week next week with the card <laughs> right it's okay i love i i i obviously i don't love that he pulled that card but i love that it really coincides with what's going on in the skies yeah. right now um Again, uh, going back to the astro weather, we have the Mars square Saturn uh, transit going on right now. Mars literally represents, like, basically cutting. Yeah. Cutting things. Um, and so it's kind of funny that he pulled the Nine of Swords. Um, as, as Day said, that can be the energy that we'll probably be receiving for the week. But let's not think of it that way. Let's... Let's try to incorporate some positivity into it. Yeah, things might be a little bit stressful, a little bit um, frustrating, but, you know, we want to make sure we ease up on ourselves. So definitely take the time, take advantage of Venus's um, energy exactly. to Mars. Take advantage of Venus's energy and take a little bit of extra self-care this week. Exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. Take some self-care. This car doesn't doesn't have to be the end all be all mm -hmm. like these are just hey warnings <laughs> <laughs> things but, might be bad right now but, <laughs> but they could go they could be better days ahead exactly just, yes. take, just take your time this isn't this is the time to take care of yourself mm -hmm. and the people you love definitely like we were saying just worry about your mental health exactly maybe see a therapist maybe get a therapy app Maybe take a hike. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe color. Maybe color. Maybe mm -hmm. just take care of your your mental health. Your mental take care of yourself this week. Take care yes. of yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is the Venusian Musings podcast, and we are here to help get you through life yeah. in a Venusian way. Even if things are bad right now, we got you. We got you always. And that's the motherfucking, motherfucking tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for listening. So this was our first episode. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope um, give us your thoughts on it. If you have any interesting conspiracy theories that you have heard of or kind of want to touch base on or if you want to like fact check us, maybe we got some info wrong. I don't know. We, we were just diving into it, <laughs> but definitely let us know. You can reach us at uh, darlings of venus on instagram uh we'll also have a twitter for it we haven't we haven't actually put our twitter together <laughs> yet but we'll definitely have that there you can even email us it's um darlings of venusia at uh gmail.com i believe is the account let me make sure it is, it is yes okay perfect so if you want to email us go ahead um from there hopefully with our next episode you'll be able to enjoy if you have any experiences with randonautica definitely give Let us, us some information mm -hmm. i would love to hear some like i said like i that was the second thing I researched about this the po for the podcast. I, I want to know. I love hearing creepy stuff. Yes. Please let us know. Yes. And you can reach me at, um, again, your friendly neighborhood witch bitch on Instagram and Twitter. It's either Moon Disco, but either way, just look it up. I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. And my at is look at Luxurious. That's L-U-X-U-R-I-A-S. Um, so that's where you can reach me and Pika. And then I am Estefdix. You can find me on Instagram or on Twitter, Estefdix underscore. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So from there, we hope you enjoyed today's episode and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.